So we've been helping you spring clean your life, everything from your closet to your life online. So now let's talk about your love life. Do you need to bring back that va-va-boom? Well, let's bring in the love guru. HLN contributor Dr. Tiffany Davis Henry is here with the advice because you often get couples coming yeah. to your office All looking the for the, what's how to reignite that spark. What's right. the most common problem in relationships? Well, the most common problem actually is low sexual desire. Everybody wants to kind of beef things up, especially if you've been in a relationship for a long period of time. Things You kind of get in a rut and do the same thing over and over again. And so my job is to really help couples try and figure out new ways of doing maybe some of the same old things, but just jazzing it, jazzing it up a bit. Zhuzh it up. I like how yes. you say redo your bedroom. Yes, redoing your bedroom. Now, a lot of us may have some clutter, maybe have some old dishes, some food, things like that that we need to get out of the bedroom. Get it out of there. It's not doing you any good. And certainly, if you got a picture of mom or grandma by the bed <laughs> or Jesus, I love Jesus, but <laughs> if, he's, if he's looking down on you while you're trying to do your business, could, you know, disrupt the mood a little bit. So I say clean up and just get things out of the way so that you have a really good space and certainly get the dogs and the kids and everything else out of the bed. And maybe bring in some extracurricular activities. For sure. How do I G-rate this? What do you mean? <laughs> Well, I think you, everybody, well, not everybody, but some folks have an adult play box. So I want to make sure that you green up and even spring clean that toy box. So get rid of all the old toys. There's lots of great products out there that are rechargeable, if you like those. <laughs> and certainly things that are organic or natural. Make sure that those materials are made out of body-safe materials, medical-grade medical silicone, medical-grade stainless steel, sustainable wood, all of those things. And you will be amazed at how that <laughs> spring cleans everything down okay. there. The mom and dad put this on you. Um, we have a question from one of our yeah. viewers. What are some options for date night other than a traditional dinner date? Well, I think, and I like that question because you do need to get away from traditional yeah. dinner dates. A lot of times we plan for dinner and we plan this elaborate big steak dinner or this five course Italian supper and we get home and all we want is an antacid <laughs> and to lay down and go to sleep and don't touch me. Think about light dinners, think about picnics, think about activities that you can do that are very light and easy on the waistline, but also leave you with a lot more energy and spunk to make sure that you actually get into bed and have an activity in bed as opposed to just falling asleep. Okay, good advice there. <laughs> Another question real quick. I've tried many times to bring that fire back to my relationship. Mm -hmm. Hasn't worked. When is it time to move on? Well, a I think, question. yeah, and I think it depends on what you've tried. And if it's just trying and not really talking, mm -hmm. which a lot of couples do, they th they try and figure it out on their own without asking their partner and without listening to their partner. Ask your partner, what can I do to jazz things up? Is, is it as bad as I think it is? Or, you know, what can I be doing or not doing mm -hmm. that would make sex better? And a lot of times your partner has the answer, but we don't communicate about sex as much as we need to. So make sure you're talking to your partner and certainly enlist the help of a therapist to maybe help weed through some of the ambiguity. Like you, Dr. Tiff. Yeah. Thank well. you so much. Great <laughs> to have you. Some great advice there.